guys started out 15 for 20 from the field and, and put up 41 in the first quarter. What, what was working so well for you guys offensively in that first half? Uh, this team, uh, they, do, they do a lot of scrambling on defense, so I think we just moved the ball, made the extra pass, and was able to find good shots. Joe and Kai got us going to start um, making shots, so that's always good when we make our first few threes. And But the ball, you know, how many assists we finish with? 27, it felt like we had more than that, but... Um, you know, we moved the ball all night, was able to find a good shot. And then you were big on Wednesday about downplaying expectations for TJ, just getting him out and, and seeing how it goes. Just what would you make of the, the 17 minutes he gave you guys? I loved his minutes. You know, he has a knack for finding the basketball, and he was cutting to the rim well, offensive rebound a couple times, running the floor, you know. So it's only going to get better for him as he get more reps under him. Um, looking forward to him playing out there with us. Um, it's really, really solid defensively. So he just gives another big body. And uh, just happy he's playing again. I know he loves the game. Kevin, you guys won four in a row in seven of the last nine. Just what's changed during the stretch? Uh, shots going in. Um, we got a couple favorable matchups with some, some teams being a little banged up there. Um, but all in all, I think we're, we're moving the basketball well. We're, we're covering for each other on the defensive side of the ball. And, um, you know, we're playing as a unit on both ends. So we continue that, then we'll, uh, we'll be trending in the right direction. You guys have Boston coming up. Just what's it going to take to deal with a team that's that solid on all ends of the ball? Yeah, I just we got to be solid, you know. Um, we can't make mistakes ourselves because um, they capitalize on it, you know. So we just got to be solid, be ready to play. I'm excited about it. Kevin, you obviously know what it's like to come back firsthand from a serious injury, miss that much time. What is that feeling like that TJ went through tonight when you've been out that long and then you're able to, to do what you love again? I can't truly speak for TJ, but um, um, you get a little bit of anxiety before um, the ball is tipped, just leading up to this moment. You know, I'm, sh I'm sure you had this date circled for a while now, so... Um, you just get so many, so much, you know, so anxious to play, and you know, now that the, you know he's out there and got his feet wet a little bit, he can relax, you know. So it's always, uh, it's always tough leading up into that first game back. But he showed, you know, he's a poised guy, so it, it, he sh he showed that um, he he belongs out here. It felt like he didn't really miss too much of a, you know, what two years he missed. Feel like, it didn't feel like that. So, uh, but we still got to be patient with him. We still understand that. He had uh, some tough injuries, and he spent a lot of time away from the game, but he looked great to me. I believe you guys are 3-0 and against the Raptors this year. What advantages have you guys had against this team? Like, which ways do you think you've attacked them well just because they have they do swarm so much defensively? Yeah, I think they, uh, you know, they throw a lot of different defenses at you. They might box in, box in one, triangle two, press you all game, press you for a few minutes out of out time. Uh, full court trap, you know, so they just try uh, all types of stuff, and I think we just stay poised through it all. I mean, we look, we're used to teams throwing all types of defenses at us, so, um, you know, we we go through it in film, we practice it, so we was able to hit the extra pass tonight. We made some great looks. Um, you know, we had 27 assists, but I felt we could have had 35, 36 with the amount of shots that we missed that were open. So, um, yeah, we just, stay, we just stay patient when they start to swarm. You guys, especially when things, quote, aren't going well, you guys frequently give up a lot more points, a lot more uh, attempts than you guys are taking, either giving them away on the offensive glass or turnovers. But when you guys are holding teams pretty much even on the glass and not getting beat up on the boards, just how dangerous can you guys be when you're basically even playing middle of the pack in terms of your offense, in terms of your rebounding? Yeah, I mean, we, we got a lot of threats out there to shoot the ball, so um, that keeps the defense on their heels. Um, you know, so if we can win a possession battle, we always give it, always give ourselves a chance. And I think a lot of teams come in our building saying that, look, it's going to be hard to keep up with them if we just try to make it a shootout, so let's junk the game up a bit, run and gla uh, crash the glass, run and jump us double team so we can try to get turnovers and speed them up. So uh, a lot of teams uh, feel like they can throw a little bit more gimmicks at us because uh, we score so fast and so, uh, you know, we move the ball so well. So they got to keep up. And uh, But for the most part, you know, we figuring it all out. We learning, as, you know, as time goes on. We're trying to figure out, you know, how to play off of each other through different defenses. And it's been working so far. Uh, but we got a long ways to go.